In my last video, we showed how to integrate a SQL product list and a SharePoint customer list into a Dataverse table that is used to request inventory. Now I'll build a Canvas app my field workers can use when visiting customer sites to place inventory requests. If you didn't already watch the other video on virtual tables and integrating the data, you may want to go back and review those. I'm going to build my app starting with the home screen in the Maker Portal so I can quickly generate a three-page Canvas app using my existing tables. You can do all of this manually, but I wanted to save some time. I'll choose to start from a Dataverse table. I'll add a Dataverse connection, or if you already have one, you can use the existing one. I pick my table Inventory Request and click Connect. This will generate a three-page app that has a gallery of each of my inventory requests, a page for viewing the details of each request, and a Create Edit page. My gallery is currently set to show two pieces of data, title and subtitle. I'm going to click on each of the items and choose which columns I want them to display. Title will be request name. And subtitle will be requested date. Now I'll go to my edit page and pick the fields I want my employees to use. This will already be populated, but you can easily modify the form to customize it. I'll remove the fields I don't need. Add in the fields I want to include, including lookups for customer and product, and change the order of them on the form. Now I'll add the same fields to my display page. Now I'll select my gallery and test the app by clicking play. Now I test this and you can see that when I create a new request, I can fill in some data and my product dropdown provides me a list of my products. This is coming directly from SQL and I can type into the box to help filter the results. My customer list also allows me to filter and select my customers coming from SharePoint. I save the record and a new inventory request has been added. I can click on it to see the details in the details screen. Now, I want to get more data from SQL and SharePoint for my records. I want to see the customer's email and I want the product list price. I can have the app pull this data based on the lookup values I pick when creating the record. I'll modify my display page to show me the additional data I want. Because it's coming from SQL and SharePoint, I don't need to edit it on the edit page. First, I'll add a new label and a new text field for use for email on the app. To populate the email, I'll click on my new email text box and write a formula that will look up the email value for the customer I selected in my lookup. I'll start by telling it to look up the customer list and use the customer name. Then I want it to use the value I selected in the text box, which is customer name. Now this one shows data card value because I didn't rename it. And I want to use that customer name from the data card value to retrieve the email. As soon as the formula is complete, you can see the data present. Now I'll do the same thing for product list price using the details in my product dropdown. Now I'll save my app and I'll name it Mobile Inventory Request. Now let's leave the app and briefly look at the data in the table. The email and product list price data is not stored locally in the table. The record will store the lookup ID we selected in the dropdown for the customer and the product. The formula will use that to pull the other data dynamically each time the record is viewed and display it without saving it. This gives me my basic app that's retrieving lookup data from my SQL and SharePoint sources and supplying additional details from the data sources themselves. Check out other videos in this series for more information on virtual tables.